It's their first hot meal after more than a month at sea. The almost 200 Rohingya refugees, half of them women and children, departed from a refugee camp in Bangladesh in early December. Just before reaching Indonesia, they ran out of food and their boat developed engine trouble. 18-year-old Mohamed Faisal and his sister are just glad they made it. Yes, yes, we feel many kind of difficulties in the boat. One of us died on the boat. He is nine years old. He died on the boat. Not getting rice and medicine, he died on the boat. Then we throw him on the sea. Even once on land, their ordeal is often not over. According to the United Nations, 26 refugees died of dehydration and exhaustion in Aceh last month. The toll of weeks at sea, simply too much. The majority of the boat people are Muslim Rohingya, heavily persecuted by the military in Buddhist-majority Myanmar. More than 700,000 have fled their homes to neighboring Bangladesh since August 2017. From there, many have tried to reach Indonesia or Malaysia. More are expected soon. Some fishermen and the authorities have seen more vessels at sea. We can't confirm this at the moment, but considering that the situation in the overcrowded camps in Bangladesh is getting worse, it's clear that people will increasingly try to move to a better place. Some 200 people died making the dangerous journey last year, making 2022 one of the deadliest years for Rohingya refugees fleeing to Indonesia. <laughs> Huh?